back with Lisa Waters Lane in the studio. She comes each week with just garden tips, tricks, and garden hacks that you can beautify your yard with. Hack? Hack. <laughs> That's kind of an old term. Anyway. Uh, those those I see you bring a lot of flowers. The the studio smells delicious. Or is that you, my oh, I'm sure it's me after a full day working in the might be <laughs> outside. Yeah, as long as I'm right next to you working with you. So there you go. Anyway, we do we are outdoors. We do get mm -hmm. dirty hands and uh you have dirty hands. Oh, okay. Um <laughs> anyway, you just we're garden center owners that have a podcast or a radio mm -hmm. show. So what do you got for us um this week? So it's time to start thinking about replacing some of those summer plants. Like I was in our backyard and I noticed some of our zinnias, yeah, which yeah. had been looking fabulous, yeah. all of a sudden just started looking like bleh. Yeah, so mildew. it mildew. Yeah. Mildew in short days. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. like either one. They're like bright hot heat. Bright hot days. So yeah. some, you know, we need to replace some of those pots. Some are looking good, but we definitely need to... I uh, get out there and, and get some new color into yeah. some of those pots that need a refreshing. So one of the ones that I love for the, our area is the Snapdragon. So this is uh, one of the Snapdragons. <laughs> it's a Snapdragon. <laughs> <laughs> if only you could watch this on the video. But tune in for, to the vlog. It's pretty entertaining. <laughs> so Snapdragons are one of those wonderful cool season plants. A lot of people plant them in the spring. Uh, but we're very fortunate that we can put them again in the fall. So this particular one is a mix that we had specially grown for us. Are you done? Like, no, having fun with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so this one we had specially grown, so it's a mix. So it has white, yellow, pink, uh, kind of a dark burgundy in there as well. So, But they also come in just straight colors. So you can yeah. get them in white. Just yellow, just pink, just red. But I kind of like the mix. It's really, I do too. Really it's pretty. pretty. Yeah. Especially in a container or raised bed, just where maybe you don't have quite as much room. Mm -hmm. That just looks good. Yeah. I like this one because the javelina, everything yeah. has a more ferocious, just, they just are eating, the bunnies right. are eating stuff. Getting ready. Squirrels for are out. <laughs> They're trying to fatten up. Mm -hmm. And the javelina are out. Yeah. And none of these things, the, the, the mammals that are roaming around at night in your yard, mm -hmm. looking to devour things, they don't, don't like the taste right. of snapdragons. They leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Yet they're beautiful. They look delicious. I yeah. wonder if they smell they good. Mm -hmm. uh, but animals don't bother them. So if you've no. got issues with the critters, yeah, elk, deer, and antelope anymore, uh, they don't seem to bother those. Right. So. And it's kind of it's a wildflower. Yeah. It'll reseed across the yard. It's amazing. Oh, I was walking through our backyard yesterday. Had the dogs and the cat out. So I'm walking around. <laughs> we, have, we have snapdragons coming up everywhere. Yeah, it's it's very pretty. I enjoy yeah. it. Uh, but yeah, they'll come back two or three years. They'll drop seed and come back. So it's just a really nice plant for here. I call those our backyard drift of <laughs> wild flowers and snapdragons are a core mm -hmm. i noticed tomatoes are coming up everywhere <laughs> yeah. and everything's coming yeah. up everywhere it is those little asters are coming up mm -hmm. uh, it's, yep it's a jungle back there so yeah, we let back. our cat we don't let the cat out all the time he's not an outdoor cat but we let him go explore but i have to keep an eye on him because i don't want him jumping the fence right now our backyard is so lush and full that I literally lose Where's the, cat. the cat. Where is he? <laughs> I tell the dogs, go find the kitty. But pretty. yeah, wow. very, very pretty. Uh, another one I like to mix with it. Now, this one is not javelina resistant <laughs> yeah. and all that, but they're just wonderful little plants. This that so this this is the viola. Sorry. Johnny jump up. So the old Johnny jumps up violas. It's another one, just loves the cool season. It will even go through the winter for you. And, and bloom again in the spring. It's just a wonderful little plant, great in containers, uh, similar to the pansy. Yeah, it's so, related. It's a cousin oh, yeah. of the pansy. Mm -hmm. Pansies have the bigger head to yeah. them. Violas have the smaller head. These often will free seed as well. Yeah, you can they find will. Them different places. So another really good cool season plant to put into your containers right now, but make sure if you've got critters, um, it, you probably don't want to go with that one unless it's up high where they can't get so Get the Midwest it. folks, they think of pansies, violas, kale, uh, um, mums as annuals. Mm -hmm. So that's your, your late summer, early fall, you put them in the ground and you fully expect for them to die in like by the end of the year. Right. 
because it gets so cold. Mm -hmm. That's why you move to Arizona. It's no longer that kind of deep freeze. These we these will live. These will bloom. January, February, March, mm -hmm. April, May, first part of June, and they finally go. Eh, it's too hot, and they they right. collapse. They like our mountain cold, mm -hmm. and they're fantastic. And mix and match them with kales and ornamental uh, 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 Johnny jump ups and yeah. uh, pansies and snapdragons. Mm -hmm. Look at these together. Let's just show that off on the camera. These go together. <laughs> what goes together? Yeah. So those are very, very pretty. I also brought in, there's a new um, wow. Echebecchia. This is a new Echebecchia called Cherry Brandy. So just a really dark kind of burgundy red blossom on it. Very, very pretty. Yeah, we gorgeous. have other Echebecchias in too, but this was brand new variety. So I thought I'd bring it in and show it's like it like moonlight red or some velvet. It's like, a, it's like, oh, a, velvet, it's like Elvis would wear it or something. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's got a flower about the size about four inches across, maybe five. Mm -hmm. Great big eye to it, like a like a Rebecca. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a great big flower to it, like a like an echinacea. Right. Thus, the combo name. They're they Echebecchia. blended the two together. Echebecchia, you know, two <laughs> yeah. things. But you never see reds like this right. or that that dark, mm -hmm. almost like a black red. It is. What, you just, what color is that? It's cherry brandy. Cherry. <laughs> As a man, I don't know what that is. I don't oh either, but gosh. that's what they called it. So I brought it. <laughs> so we do have other uh, Rebecca's and Echebecchias. This is a great late summer plant yeah. in the fall, blooms consistently for you. Pretty animal resistant yeah. as well. Uh, so great from pots, great in your perennial beds, just real pretty. So full sun. Oh, yeah. It's going to hibernate underground like a perennial, mm -hmm. and then it'll come back fresh from its roots. Whereas snapdragons, they're going to stop blooming about, I don't know, Christmas. Yeah. And then you'll trim off those those heads, those seed heads. Trim up. They're still green up top. Mm -hmm. doesn't ever hibernate underground. Mm -hmm. Then it starts to reseed or re-bloom mm -hmm. from that top green growth. Right. Violas, they never hibernate underground. They keep green. Mm -hmm. In fact, they'll keep that flower. Like you'll have a three-inch snow, and then it'll just bury the plant. And then you'll see little, little flowers popping through. Mm -hmm. And they'll just enjoy. They they almost celebrate. They they like that chillness. Mm -hmm. You know, some some of your friends love just everything about winter. Like they're roaming around. It's January. It's eighteen degrees. They're in shorts, shorts. flip flops, or or and, and a t shirt. They're happy. That's they're violas. Right. That's what that's what violas love mm -hmm. to do. They're the same. They're just like people. Plants are like people. Mm, imagine that. <laughs> so some of the other things that we've gotten in, and there are people who want to check things out. That just look beautiful this time of year. A lot of the ornamental grasses. So we probably have six or seven varieties yeah. of ornamental grasses Amazing. right now, uh, which do wonderfully here. We're like the perfect climate for the ornamental yeah. grasses. Uh, we've got a lot of different ones from shorties to big tall. So definitely something to check out. Uh, and the other thing we've gotten in is the tiger eye sumac. Ooh, neat. Is it going into color yet? It is. Oh, look how cool. It is. So tiger eye sumac has a beautiful, beautiful orangey red fall color to it. It's one of those plants, very drought hardy. It's a native. Right. No yeah. critters eat it. Very animal resistant. And it does, we have it in our backyard, yeah. kind of around the pond. And it has kind of spread. It's, it's a spreader, right? Yeah. I kind of keep it in check. Take uh -huh. a shovel to the head like a, like a rattlesnake. <laughs> Think or something. Oh. You're not allowed to come up over there. Move it. So yeah. I, I keep them around where I want them. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's easy to maintain. They're super easy to maintain. Oh, they are. So hard, I never water them. Not a lot Hardly, of I mean, you just too. abuse them, kick mm -hmm. dirt at them, curse at them. Yeah. They grow more. They do. And they do well. Yeah. So tiger eye, that probably gets what, four feet? Yeah, hip high or so. Right. Maybe three feet, something mm -hmm. like that. They're and short. we did um, we did get some raywoods in, raywood ash. ash. We've been neat. trying to find those. So that's another pretty Finally. fall color tree, real pretty burgundy color to it. In the Trucks fall. have been lining up down mm -hmm. the street in front of my office. It's We're loading up for that winter fall color. Yeah. Come in and take a look. It is mm -hmm. a good time to plant. Ken and Lisa Lane here at Waters Garden Center and the Mountain Gardeners. Be right back after this.